Hey, it's Michelle coming to you with Kitchen Inspiration. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm making pot roast. Um, I make a bunch of different pot roasts, but the one I'm making today, um, I have to give a shout out to my uh, sister-in-law, Lorraine Schomber, for this recipe. It's one of those recipes we really like. It's super easy. I took my pot roast and I cut it in four pieces just because when I do it in the pressure cooker, it cooks faster that way. Um, cooks faster that way no matter how you cook it, actually. All right, so I'm using my old quick cooker, which is the same as your deluxe multi-cooker six quart pot and I'm going to add some stuff to it. So first I'm going to add is a can of cream and mushroom soup and I'm using my smooth edge can opener. If it grabs the can, it's ready to be used. So I'm going to go around with that. I love this because you can put your spatulas in the can and they don't get ripped up. It's a great gift for older people who have don't have a lot of hand strength to because it's easy to use. It looks like it didn't do anything to your can, but then if you grab the edge, it takes the lid right off without leaving any sharp edges. So that's our smooth edge can opener. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. Sorry, making a lot of noise. And then I'm getting a can of water. I'm putting a can of water in, okay? All right, so I got two of my things in. Then I've got some French onion soup mix. I'll drop that in. And some gravy master. Or if you have kitchen bouquet, that'll work also. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in. And I'll make sure I don't. All right. Now I'm going to grab my silicone coated sauce whisk. It's all stainless, but then you're whisk part here is silicone so you can use it in any pot now of course this is a stainless pot so it won't hurt anything and nothing will hurt it but um if you were using it in your non-stick cookware to make gravy or say for thanksgiving if you're to make your um thanksgiving gravy right in the pan that you cooked your turkey in it's not going to scratch it up which is nice all right so i'm just going to give this a good mix because once it's in the pressure cooker you can't really touch it again right all right, so I'm just gonna grab these. They're a little frozen in the middle. It's another reason that I cut them because they cook faster when they're frozen in the middle. All right, I mean, they cook faster if they're smaller when they're frozen in the middle. So that's basically the whole recipe. Now I'm gonna drop it in the pressure cooker. Uh, I'm using my quick cooker, like I said. You can use your deluxe multi-cooker. I'm gonna put it on for 65 minutes. I'm probably gonna do 75 because it's slightly frozen, so I'm gonna add an extra 10 minutes. Um, because I like it to be kind of briskety and fall apart when it's done. And then I'm just going to make some egg noodles to go with it and a vegetable. So that's it. Super, super easy recipe. Really good. I was in the mood for some a beef roast today. So um, anyway, thanks for joining me. If you liked this video, please go ahead and share it with your friends. Thanks so much.